Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Penny Black Stamps and Dies. Cut It Home has a huge selection that you can choose from, and Penny Black Stamps are awesome. If you've never used them before, they reminded me of Hero Art Stamps. They look, feel, and the quality is going to be similar to Hero Arts. They have what they call slapstick or cling mounted stamps. And as you can see, they are a rubber based stamp. They have a 1 8 inch foam pad. So every time that you use it, you're going to get a great image transfer from your ink. I like to use my Fisker stamp press, but you can use any type of acrylic block. I've actually even stamped these without using a block. You just gently set it down, press it down, and pick it straight back up. So however you choose to use it, you'll get a great image every time. So here, this one is Make-A-Wish, and look what an adorable image that is. I love their whimsical feel that they have to them. This one here is Bubble Girl. Love them, they're so cute. They also offer what they call transparent stamps, and these are clear stamps, and they're very high quality because they're photopolymer stamps. So again, with these, you're gonna get a great image, but they're also at a really great price point too. So look how cute that is. Of course, with these, you would use an acrylic block, and any ink will work great with any of these stamps. Here's, I stamped these out just to show you. Look at the detail in those stamps. The designers do an absolutely fabulous job. And Penny Black also offers creative dies. They're high quality thin metal cutting dies and they're manufactured in the USA using 100% steel and they work in most of your regular die cutting machines. So here's just two to look at. This one is called Envision Die. It has the word dream and imagine and it's such a gorgeous font. This one here is called Ironwork Window. And these just cut beautifully out of your machine. Even the very intricate ones just cut beautifully. These are very high quality, great to work with. Here I've cut the word dream from some fun foam. So you can see how pretty that font is. I did make two cards featuring both of these stamp sets, the Make-A-Wish and Bubble Girl, and they're both A2 sized cards. On this one I used a white card base. I added a mat that is an eighth inch smaller on both sides and top and bottom. To the inside I added another red mat piece for my greeting. And I stamped my image using VersaFine Black Onyx Ink. I went ahead and clear embossed it, and then I colored it in using the new chameleon markers. These are really fun to work with. You can get from one marker you can get all different tones of the same color because it, they have an alcohol ink built into them that you can transfer so you can get different shades of one color with these. So that's what I used to color both my images in and I added a little bit of Winkastella to her skirt. I added some beautiful flowers and I cut out my image using a Sizzix Framelits die. This one is Circles Scallop. I'll have all the products listed in the description box below if you're interested. So that was my one card. For my second card I used a black card base. I used some Spellbinders assorted cardstock from their Celebrations line and I popped it up with some chipboard underneath giving it dimension. I added another small black layer then my um, image again colored with the chameleon markers. I added a little bit of twine and some beautiful wild orchid craft flowers and that finished my card. For the inside I used a white mat so I could write my greeting on. So as you can see these stamps are really fun and Cut at Home has tons to choose from, so I hope you stop by and check it out. I will link 
in the description box Cut at Home's website and I hope you stop by their blog you'll find a list of all these products shown today also just to mention for my sentiment I used the Joy Claire hugs and smiles for this I miss you and for this rectangle I use the Spellbinder Celebrations pierced rectangles which gives me a beautiful piercing edge to it so I hope you've enjoyed and you stop by and check out Penny Black's assortment of stamps and dies. Thanks so much for watching.